Hey folks, thanks very much for joining me here today. This is Pete from Ashton's Cars doing a video walk around of this BMW 1 Series. Uh, it's a 2011 on a 61 plate and it's the it's the 118D and it's what they call the Urban Edition. Let me just adjust this slightly so I can get a better look in for you. Right, so 118D Urban Edition of the car. It's one of these ones that's uh, a low tax band, so it's designed to be very economical. But I've been driving the car myself uh, over the last 24 hours. And it's also extremely good to drive, very powerful. Uh, typical BMW, it, it handles very well. It feels like a precision tool when you're driving it. And um, it's got the six speed manual gearbox on it. It's got a few extras on it, the Urban Edition. It's got half leather interior, which looks really nice. I'll show you that in a second, because it's it's quite a striking interior. It's a sort of two-tone uh, interior on the car. Um, so just setting out a light here, because it's a bit strange light then a minute ago. I'm sorry if it was a bit flashy the start of this video. So it's uh, it's got a very striking interior on it. It's got a few extras on it, including a speed limiter function. So I think it's designed for sort of the urban driving where you're, you know, I guess probably, you know, having to watch speed limits and stuff, especially with modern smart motorways where they've got variable speed limits. It's got a, a function on it where you can set a speed limit, a function on the car. It's, um, as you can see, a really good looking car. It's done, it's done a few miles for the year. It's done about 100 and, um, 140,000 miles this car has, but you wouldn't think it. It's, apologies that it is a little bit wet today. I'm doing this in between showers and as you can see the car has got a fair bit of sort of water on it from from where it's been raining, but it's, it's just been valeted so the car, all that water's beading very nicely on top of it. And hopefully you can see the car is pretty much immaculate. It's been someone's pride and joy this car is. I think they, uh, it came into us from a main dealer, but I think the people who, who own the car were actual vehicle detailers, so they've They've obviously kept it in a very, very clean condition. Let's just come around this side just to give you another, another look back to where we started. So I think a very smart looking car. Considering the mileage it's done, it's barely got a single stone chip on that bonnet. I mean, yes, it's got rain on it, but there, are, there aren't really any nasty stone chips underneath that. It's, uh, it's in very good shape indeed. Now, just to show you inside the car. So, there she is. Very smart, half leather interior. It's quite nice with this sort of two-tone effect in it. It is very clean for the, uh, for the age of mileage of the car. Nice sort of dashboard on it, with that big center screen, which I think looks great. I like these sort of high gloss finishes that they've got on the on the dashboard and the uh, the center console as well it does look very very classy to me let's have a quick look in the back and apologies it is a bit dark we're sort of in autumnal light here but hopefully that makes it a little bit better i've just switched the lights up a little bit very nice half leather interior i just i, I think that the two-tone effect does look very very smart on this particular car and there's your dashboard. Typically BMW, very business-like. It's got driver modes as well. It's got a performance mode, an urban mode. I'll show you how all that works in just a second. But Isofix points in the back as well, guys. Ideal for your car seats if you've got little ones. And surprisingly large in the boot. One thing that strikes me with these newer 1 Series is they are a lot bigger than the original BMW 1 Series. It's got a much better boot on it much nicer interior and it just feels a more quality car so you know all things that i rate on this particular model you will notice that it's got the tinted glass to the rear of it as well it's got a lighter tint at the front just to keep things legal and what i'm going to do now guys just quickly step inside the car and fire it up for you so let's just do that now this car is actually keyless, so I've got a key fob which is in my pocket. 
And because I've got that in my pocket, I can literally just um, press this button by here, which will fire the car up. And there it is. Obviously we're on reserve fuel. The airbag you can deactivate. And I think we do need a bulb in the car, which will be, which will be done prior to you having it. It hasn't gone through our workshop yet. Um, let me just very quickly get that to show you the mileage on the car. It's done 146,130 miles. Let me turn the radio down very quickly, show you that centre display there. Now you control most of that through a kind of modern version of the iDrive, which is by here. So I can use that like a mouse, I can go through different menus on it, and it'll bring up different things on the menu. And I turn this bag, big dial here to scroll through the functions on the computer. It's very easy to use, and especially when you get used to it, you uh, you can sort of almost do it uh, without looking. So it's sort of become a second nature to you. It's got manual air conditioning on it. Um, that works very well, very effective indeed. You've uh, got this driver mode system on these new BMWs by here. So if I was to press, for example, Sport on that, it'll actually put the car into a more dynamic driving mode. There's a couple of modes on here. We've got Comfort. Um, we've got Eco Pro, which is the more economical one, and uh, then we have got Sport. I tend to start, just leave it in Comfort for a majority of the time. Although the Eco Pro does give save you a little bit more again on your fuel consumption, but it's incredible on fuel already. It does almost sixty to the gallon, and I think it's twenty pound a year to tax, so it's very very cheap to run. You know, it, despite the fact that it's uh, in the low tax band and it's a it's a very cheap car to run. You're certainly not cutting any corners in this car in terms of the quality. It's it's right up there with the uh, the larger BMWs. And I'm not sure how well the sound comes through on these videos sometimes, but it's it's a fairly quiet diesel engine. It's not very uh, it's not very loud at all out here. Overall, guys, I think just a very very nice looking car. Very nice to drive. Uh, it looks the part it looks like you've got a bit of prestige on your driveway but it's not going to cost you much to run so um despite the higher mileage i would recommend this particular car there's no adverse noises or any issues with it at all um it's certainly one that i have found very very nice to drive myself i've enjoyed using it so uh give us a call on 07932 if this car's of interest to you um we're happy to part exchange uh we can take uh your old car in we can even take a car of higher value in, which we've been doing lately for some people to get them out of finance agreements and stuff. We're happy to do that. This particular car will be available for nationwide delivery. We can take it anywhere in the UK for you. Um, if you're within 150 miles, that delivery is free of charge. Little charge after that, but not a huge amount. And of course, uh, we would like you to sort of like, share, subscribe to our channel, all the usual. Please uh, let us know that you've watched the video. Let us know if you've enjoyed it. And uh, keep subscribed for further updates and, and other cars that we have coming available, which you can hopefully see some of behind me. So, uh, my number one more time, guys, for any inquiries, anything you need to know on the car, 07932 873 646. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day, and please stay safe wherever you are. Thank you.